know. What's up, y'all? <coughs> That's how you know the weed is good, right? Right. I just had this conversation with Red Light Reserve. I was like, dude, I've been smoking nothing but your shit for the last six months. Yeah. <coughs> and honestly, it's like having um, it's like doing ketamine again. You got an epiphany, but. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of High Hungry. He's back. So we're out here in the wonderful city of Long Beach. I want to say it's like near the PCH area, um, you know, where all the roundabouts are at. <laughs> you know, like you can see a lot of those here. You're like the only person when I use the Welcome Back Carter song that you're like, I remember that. <laughs> Welcome uh, back. I shouldn't remember that, but they're like, what? How much TV did you watch? Uh, no, I, like they asked me that. They're oh, like, why right, do you right, know right. this? You well, should. How do you know it? TV then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Welcome Back. Welcome back, welcome Skinny back. Skinny ass John Travolta. Oh, yeah. Up so, your nose with a rubber hose, dude. I could say we're in a regular gas station, but this is like a poppin' gas station. And poppin' gas stations and poppin' places usually have poppin' pop-ups at these places. I know that's a lot of poppin' for you guys. But we're here at VP Racing Fuels in Long Beach on the 7th Street. The crazy thing about this gas station is that not only do they have uh, vendors, like food vendors, like the one we're gonna showcase today, this gas station is known as a smoke and vape stop. They're from the family of the Craft Beer Kings extension. And this is the only fucking gas station that I know of where you can go buy some shoes that you literally have been looking for on Stock X, or maybe like um, if you're one of those Supreme fucking kids and you want to get those fucking shoes with that stupid logo everywhere, you're going to see a lot of those fools in here. Or maybe you're just an Edgar with a little extra money because you're selling Coke. You know what I'm saying? You can go ahead and pull up with your truck here and get some of the finest shoes. This is literally the place you want to get. It's like, I would say, what do the kids call it? Hype shop? It's like a hype shop, right? Sure. Yeah, it's like, a, you're like I don't know, I don't talk to Whatever kids. Whatever the kids say, man. We're actually gonna get our burrito on this morning. Not some tacos, I actually wanted, I wanted to do the fucking, the, the, the Cartman thing, but I didn't have <laughs> oh, enough time. Yeah, I want- Taco flavored kids, yeah. yeah taco flavored kids. I wanted to do that for this episode, but I'm not. Uh, but we're actually smoking here. It's a very nice neighborhood. It looks like the type of neighborhood that has garage sales. Yeah. The crazy part about this is that I, you, know, you guys know I'm Canadian, right? I had to bring some Canadians. It's true out of here and then I'm pretty sure they don't know they're in like the middle of fucking Long Beach just randomly kicking it. Come on in guys. These are my comedian friends, Nitty Sack and what Danny, not? all the uh, all the way from Canada. You you just want some some what did Seattle. you do? Seattle what? Yeah, Seattle International Comedy Contest. Second Canadian dude in forty one years. There you go. Congrats yeah. on that. This, Thanks. this is like probably the only guy well no you the cooks usually don't smoke. You know what I mean? But Nitty over here from Toronto gonna make up for it and both of you guys just came back from Australia right yes sir we were doing the Melbourne Comedy Festival out there we had to come by I hadn't I didn't smoke weed in like a month and I, I was like before I go home I gotta come back and see you so you lost a, you lost about 80 pounds bro so like I it's it's, it's a pleasure to, for, for you to actually agree and be like hey I'm gonna be on high and hungry because I haven't I, I, I imagine you, you don't do the high and hungry like you used to no more you know no, what no, I mean no I do high and High hungry, uh, healthy. Yeah, high and healthy, bro. But uh, I want to eat, bro. What's Fuck it? all that. I want the nastiest thing. I want to ask you this. Do you guys have... I only saw one place, I want to say in Toronto, where there was like a little... It was like two hala fucking stands and one taco truck. Is there any like? Is there any good burritos out there? Yeah. Or any uh, tacos? I mean, there probably is. I don't want to disrespect, but I mean, not like out here, bro. Yeah, like yeah, you're not yeah, gonna yeah. find pop up like, like yeah. you're deadly oh, ass. I bet that's weird, right? How huh? like you seeing the people on the corner street and they're all just everybody's oh, buddy, making it's, tacos. It's the funnest because it's like you got your fruit stand, your taco stand, but then you also are having like bodega pop up shops where buddies are selling you like bucket hats and doing random stuff. <laughs> you know? It's, so you it's know just it like yeah, Mexicans it's been fun. Don't pass Niagara Falls. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So we don't have any tacos. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we got burrito boys. You know, and it's like we know how to swim. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like it's it's like but. <laughs> <laughs> but it's <laughs> man so today the crazy thing about it is um low-key burritos we've actually had the chance to enjoy them today and uh, enjoy them before at the studio yeah courtesy of Bart's. yeah they did a collaboration where they did these burritos with brisket that uh dustin Bart's provided and man that burrito was television they did that's where we first saw the tree the cheese crust yo hey man, americans do... gamble with their lives the most with Ooh, food yeah, yes man. you can do crack or you can get the jalapeno cheese crust <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man i think i also think the cold keeps your people in shape out there man no no well, you guys, well it's america you guys like all summer yeah our in shape is different bro like no, but like you're 
our larges or your mediums. Not even smalls. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I went yeah. out there, the button up shirt, and I went to go try on, and I was over there. I was like, what the fuck's up with these shirts, clothes, Jason? Clothes, not only clothes, fucking cup sizes, Food, dude. Man. We went fucking. and got like a small dude, came out like this. I was like, oh, good thing wow. I got diet soda on that, man. Damn, that's yeah, wild. America, bro, you guys are free. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice though, because our money doesn't, you know, our dollar's cheaper than yours, so it's better to get our bank for our buck when we're spending yeah, small. So. I think it works by versa. When we go over there, we feel like we get a discount. Like, that's how I feel. Yeah, I, feel, like, yeah, dude, yeah, I feel like I was just like, yo, it's like a work everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> 30% off, bro. Yeah. That's right. So it must be a Juanito, dog. Look, I bought this. I bought this on Amazon, and I wore it one night to the concert, and I burned a hole in it. You think I'm gonna try to take it back to Amazon? You think I can do it? And it's not just a massive burrito, it's a low-key burrito. There's different variations. My Canadian homies got the works. Am I wrong? Brisket, yeah. baby. Brisket, we all got I got a bacon instead of brisket. Yep. Did you get brisket? Oh heck yeah, man. And I see, got a bacon. And uh, bacon with no brisket, yeah. Okay, and this oh. is probably the best part right here. Oh that crust? Dude. Oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let it let it bask in its fucking glory. Show it to the camera. Dude, look at that, dude. Yo, see, probably got the most like. Hello. Oh wait, no, no, no. Look at his. Hello. Oh damn. He hits me with my jalapeno heat. The jalapeno will stay in place, but. It's kind of like an omelet and a burrito fuck. It's just like the perfect mix of moisture and like consistency of food where there's no dry spot. It's just delicious. Wow. Yeah. You ever taste it straight? This is straight, bro. Level. Level flavor. What's cool about the cheese coating is that it's, it's a lot more exciting than just the regular tortilla. So it adds that extra little something you didn't know you needed in the breakfast burrito, but now it's like, once you've gone here, you can always come back. You know what's gonna be hard? Yeah. Not doing this to every tortilla. Yeah, bro, it melts in your mouth like yeah. hot candy out. It's so smooth. Holy shit, it's so good. Oh man. Eat dinner for breakfast. Yeah, I haven't had one of those wake and bakes in a while. And this is the best one what I could have. a really good fucking burrito. I, I really love the fact that this is not, it's messy in a sense where like, okay, we're feeding the birds, but it, sta it, it stays together. Like they don't get like, it's almost like he's like, hey, if they want napkins, they can ask for it, but there's not going to be vegetables everywhere. If you choose to have it for flavor purposes, the salsa would definitely enhance it. But for the most part, everything's just the raddest shit about it. It's the best breakfast burrito I've had in a long time. Dude, that's one I've ever had. So right about now, where do you call it quits? I'm starting to get there. Oh, no, man. You oh, got to eat the whole thing, bro. You have to. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you got to do the whole thing. No, I, I, dude, I, I can't. Yeah. Nibble, yeah. Dude. <laughs> you got to nibble, dude. I feel like I'm respect right. to the burrito, this is a, you must crush, you know? Right. To do it would be only, hey, be absolutely. sacrilegious, man. Absolutely. This guy put his heart and soul into it, you know? We got to put our bellies into it. Unless I mean you don't want it, but then like, I want to, but Did I'm just getting really pulled. Eat the burrito? Yeah. Yo, look at, look at, like he really, he really thought you were super Mexican. Look at the other side of the burrito. Hey, and the sure bacon is crispy. <laughs> <laughs> to me, texture is super important in a breakfast burrito. And sometimes when you get those soft pieces of bacon that are all like kind of stringy and chewy, this is not The that. hard part no, is going to be good. not doing this to every piece of cheese. Honestly, that would, go check out Loki Burritos. Yeah, man. This is definitely out the fucking park. This is definitely worth it. 
If you're like me, you got a show to do, you're probably gonna save a little bit for later. Honestly, I'm gonna go take, I'm gonna go get some of the wonderful drinks at the BP Fuel uh, Smoke Shop. Make sure, shout out to my boy Frosty there and Mo. Yo, shout out to my homies from Canada coming down. Shout out to you, Nitty. Where can they follow you at? Instagram, Nitty Sack, N I T T Y S A K. He's a great comedian, does low end, way more comedy than me. You know what I mean? Definitely he's been doing it out there, but I, I, I was out there to be able to experience comedy the first time while meeting mm -hmm. homies like him, and this is where it goes. Hey, congrats on winning that, Thanks, uh, that competition. Thanks. You can check me out on Instagram, Danny Martinello, M A R T I N E L L O. You can follow me over at C Minus Fans for on all the C, on all the digital uh, social things. All that social shit. All the things. Uh, DJCMinus.com if you want to get a hoodie or a shirt. Just cool shit there. And yeah, catch me on the Green Thumb Show Monday through Friday. All right, number one, Matt, I want to go ahead and thank you and congratulate you on having like such a busy popping. You know, for for spot called Low Key Burritos, you're like a very popping venue. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Like, like, and yeah. I, I honestly could not even finish the whole thing, and I'm gonna probably finish it on the road just because I have a show to do right after this. However, though, man, how, how long have you been doing this? April of 2018. Oh damn! No, I'm sorry, August, August. This is going on the, going so on the it's year, almost man. four years. Yeah, you're not even like five years in. Five years not, in. not five years in. No, nope. trying yeah, to survive the five years. Is it? Hell yeah. Why is that like? Is that like a thing? I, I guess know. so. I, I, think, I guess like if you make it after five, you should be. Somewhat solid. If you make it after five, you're gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't see you having any trouble anytime soon. You know what I mean? Now, you, have okay. plan, you have plans on taking it anywhere else, like an actual restaurant? Um, maybe. It all depends on the price, honestly, because we've we've tried a restaurant and um, we did like 300 burritos in this little three, four hour service, so it was banging. But then we dropped all the way to 80, and you know, the, I can't afford 3,500 bucks plus everything else. For yeah. Rent. No, I mean, I, I always like to ask that, and I like to I like people to hear that just because of the fact that, you know, people are like, why don't you get a restaurant? Why don't you? But sometimes yeah, that's, that's like, not where it's at. You know yeah, what I mean? Dude, you can have like a very successful e-commerce business, and like the moment you decide to open a retail shop, it fucking goes down you under. Fail, right? Yeah, exactly. no, it happens to a lot of businesses. So you you learn around, you live and learn. Now, aside from this, are you guys always going to be like a breakfast spot? Probably. We do yeah. a little bit of a mix on. Uh, Lunch and dinner. You never done like a dinner or like or like a hybrid with some carnitas or something in there? Yeah, we do um, asada. Oh, and, asada. Um, yeah, we've done like asada, so like a play on like the California burrito. Okay. We did a, uh, a pre-sold event, which was um, a steak and lobster one. That one was bomb. It was really damn good. See, that, experiences like that make it way more exclusive in the sense that, um, you know what I mean? like. You, you get to experience certain dishes, and if you miss out on that day, you're not gonna be able to get them anywhere. Else. Nah, nah like, that was the one. You know what I mean? So that's what limited. I'm saying. Limited edition. Yep. This is the reason we decided. To, one of the reasons we decided to showcase so much pop-ups this season of High and Hungry. Matt, I want to thank you once again. Where can they follow you guys at? Low key burritos. Low key, Low key underscore burritos on Instagram. Pleasure once again, man. Yeah. You know what I mean. Of course, cool. I'm glad you guys like it. Thank After you. High and Hungry, this is definitely a High and Hungry recommendation. I know I got a High and Hungry gift to give them afterwards, off the scenes. <laughs> yeah. And um, aside from that, we'll see you guys next time on the next episode.